This is exciting for me. Uh, I'm joined by rock royalty, Gene Simmons from Kiss. How are you? How are you, young man? Well, it's great to have you here. Thank you. In the UK, in London, in my studio. In your studio. We go yes. back a long way. We do. We what? did Celebrity Apprentice. What? I knew it. 2008. <laughs> and just to remind anyone left in the world I haven't told... Go on. ..which one of us won? Go on. <laughs> I did. <laughs> yes, yes, he did. But only because you quit early, I and if you hadn't, you'd have beaten me. Well, that's not so. But you're you're very bright and good looking. <laughs> no, that is the case. In you time. know what? You can come back any time, Gene Simmons. You're very kind. Now your tour, it's it, it it's signalling that it may be the end. No, it is. It is. You've got to have, you know, at some point we're all grown ups. You've got to be able to understand when the curtain comes down. Everything's got to come to an end at some point. Have a little dignity and self-respect. Love your fans and understand when it's time to graciously thank them for an amazing journey that's lasted but Could half you really a walk away from the stage? Yes, yes. Really? Because the alternative is staying on the stage too long the way... Who, who's, who has gone on too long in your estimation? Oh, many, many... <laughs> you want me to stop? Name and shame. Who have you looked at and gone, come on, it's time oh, to... Oh, it's, it's not fair. You can look. You can you can see them by the number of creases on their faces and so on. <laughs> Mick Jagger. Rock, rock, <laughs> rock basically is a young man's, generally speaking, uh, form of music. And look, half a century is plenty of time to put on more makeup and wear higher heels than your girlfriend. So we've, <laughs> we've done this a long time. December the second is going to be the last time, and we. We would love to see those few tickets remaining if there are any. Yeah. Some of our friends uh, in London at the O2. That's yeah. That's going to be the last time we will ever play. Really? And That's it? Want, yeah. We want to play indoors instead of usually we headline download mm. or used to be called Monsters of Rock. Uh, we, we wanted a more sort of uh, emotional thing because it is. What's been for you? I mean, if I could let you relive one moment of your entire rock career right now, which one would you choose? I would choose the beginning, the very first time we ever got up on stage, fourth on the bill, New Year's Eve, 1973, in New York City. My heart was pumping like uh, nothing you ever saw, because you have to understand, when you come from the loins of the people, you know, you sort of come up on the streets, and you, you see these sort of godlike figures on stage having the time of their lives being adored. There's no other... Plumbers don't get that. Even the Pope doesn't get knickers thrown in his face. Well, he, <laughs> well, he, oh, might, he, he might, but I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> um, but this astonishing lifestyle. And I was never the best-looking guy and all that stuff. But as soon as you start strumming the guitar and, of course, sticking out my prodigious oral appendage... Boom. How, how is the tongue? Oh, it's... Very Can we have a quick flash? I would, but the floor is dirty. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. As, as being a rock star, has it lived up to everything you hoped oh, it would it's be? More. It's more than that. It's so many people moan about their life in show business. Oh, it's a... You've, nev you've never moaned about he it. He thinks they protest too much. Yeah. One of your famous writers said that. It's mm -hmm. nonsense. How would you like to be have more money than you know what to do with, have more adoration? Oh, I forgot, you're Pierce Morgan. <laughs> You get that every... Thank you, Gene. Uh, I want to talk about someone else who's, who's in town, about Roger Waters, yep. Pink Floyd. You're uh, obviously Jewish. He's been coming out and, with a lot... And Israeli. And Israeli. And he's been coming out with a lot of very anti-Israel uh, and what people perceive to be anti-Semitic comments. I'm not sure that's the same thing. Right, so... so What's your position about Roger Waters? Well, first of all, he's a very talented guy. He's written some of the most wonderful music along with Floyd um, many, many decades. And it's obviously held up, and he's got lots of fans. There is something to be said for keeping your political and other beliefs off the stage. His choice is to use the stage as a platform to further his point of view. There is a difference between a political statement about Israel and about anti-Semitism. By the way, anti-Semitism also involves Arabs. The, the mm. definition of a Semite includes the Arab world. So I think uh, he's a well-meaning guy. I don't agree with his uh, point of views, of course. So do you think he's anti-Semitic or do you think he's anti-Israel no, as a he's, state? I think he is, uh, from my point of view, inflamed angry about the political situation, mm. as we all are. You want there to be peace someplace. And look, I turn my, our attention to this 
wonderful fairy tale of a mm. country uh, or there are leprechauns and so on. Ireland, mm. the North and the South, yeah. so it's been ongoing for God knows how long and the divisions are deep if you're either Protestant or Catholic mm. or different and I've visited uh, Parliament there. We're going to come to that actually yes. after the break. Uh, I just want to play a little clip. This is Roger Waters today. He popped up doing some interview and he said this. My story is yet another story of cancel culture. Why are they trying to cancel Roger Waters? Why aren't there real journalists going, hang on a minute, this is <laughs> Maybe I'll call up and see what he has to say. Why aren't you? Piers Morgan, eh? Well, you know, the truth is, Roger, we have, for the last two years, at Piers Morgan on says, well, actually, about 18 months, six months before we came on air, and since we've been on air, uh, we have repeatedly asked you, these are all the stuff that we're showing on screen now, all the requests. And back came the response saying, no, not available, can't do it, too busy, on stage, off stage. So, Roger, you need to talk to your people because you've had a standing offer to come on Piers Morgan Uncensored the entire time we've been on air. Look, I'd like to jump in just for a quick second. The best way to have a discussion or even an argument is find common ground yeah. and, then, and then get into the diversions of what you think. So what we agree with, and I'm Israeli and Jewish, my mother was in a concentration camp in Nazi Germany and so on and so forth. I'm not saying this to get your... your heart pumping yeah. anyway. We, we agree there absolutely should be an Arab state, Palestine. No question about it. It should exist side by side with Israel. No question about it. There should be free flow of information and commerce and so on. Okay, so it doesn't exist now. Let's work together yeah. to try to make it happen. Yeah. So what's the problem? If only it were that easy, Gene. But, you know, as always, you have a lot of clarity about these things. That's why I like you. Let's